Good Monday afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody had a good weekend. We're about to have a short week, that's for sure. When everyone's in the room, make your name be known. Let your presence be known. Reveal your secrets to us. I had a Ouija board. I put it right here. Like, ooh, ooh. Uh oh. Hey, hey, Jay. How are you? How was your weekend, bro? Did you do anything fun? There's Brandy out there going. Ooh. <laughs> wow, it's weird to see yourself on camera sometimes. I look like a doofus, but that's okay. It's all because I'm having fun with you guys. All right, everyone ready to gain about 45 pounds this week? I am. I even lost some weight so I could put on extra weight. Yeah, yeah, I thought ahead. I thought ahead. That's right, I'm ready for this. Oh, that's unfortunate, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. You're gonna get a full weekend, four days off, or at least a day off. You know, Thursday at least, you know, eat some good grub, fill up your belly. I plan to look like Santa Claus by Monday. Like, maybe I'll have triplets. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm like psyching myself up for some good eats. Very good eats. All right. So I got a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on for you guys. Oh, thank you very much, Dakota, via message. I appreciate you. Thank you, Dakota. Doing amazing work. Thank you for uh, being a great backup and a partner on this. So everyone, uh, Dakota and Nick do all the coding to get this stuff up on the store. It's a lot of work, uh, but they've been doing an amazing job. So you guys don't see them in front of the camera. You see me, but behind the camera, there's a really good crew of people that really bust their butts to get the stuff up onto the catacombs landing page for you on time and as quickly as they can in some cases. Um, so a shout out to uh, Dakota, shout out to Nick, and also the rest of the crew who've been doing an amazing job packing these orders and getting them out to you as quickly as possible. Josh, what's up, man? How are you doing today? Carmen's in the house? Oh my God. Dude, we're gonna always, okay, well, get the weekend off, Jay, at least get that. Carmen, hello, how are you? Who else do we got in here? Wow, everyone's in. You guys are beautiful. So again, a big shout out to uh, Nick and Dakota. Um, without them, I don't think this show would be as amazing as it is because they're the tech guys and gals and they're just throwing it out there to make sure um, you guys have a good presentation. So I got some fun stuff to show you guys and uh, some announcements to make as well, including I want to show off some of the beautiful books we've got that will be coming up for the uh, Thanksgiving weekend sale. So Black is Friday, so check it out. Oh, Jimmy's here to do his technical support. Is it really plug and unplug? I guess. <laughs> I don't know why it's, this should sound a lot better. Let's get your booming voice on there. Well, how does it sound up there? Hey, Josh. Tyler, how are you? Woohoo! You gonna gain weight too? <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. We're gonna try making uh, fresh cranberry sauce. For the bath. What's some of your this favorite eat? I do like turkey. Thank you, Jimmy. Everyone, the amazing Jimmy Coffin, making sure you guys can hear me all right. He got this really great mic set up, um, so you guys can hear me when I walk away from the camera. Walk forward, walk back. E either way, I'm always walking to you guys. Remember that. It's all about you. All about your entertainment. Hopefully you're entertained. Uh, real quick, um, we're only gonna be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So there will be a Wednesday catacombs. Don't think I won't forget about the catacombs. That's my lunchtime show. Wednesdays, Sworn Nation. Jimmy gave me the thumbs up. Everything's good to go. So. I've got some cool stuff on the Catacombs landing pages. Click on the link to check out some of the things I'm offering you guys and gals today. Oh! Let's start things off with, uh, haven't had these out in a while. Um, I haven't offered any while. I, I offered them on eBay. Um, 
and well, you all know the story of that. So cheers with my coffee in my Coffin Comics mug. Oh, that's some savory Joe. So anyways, I thought I'd bring a couple out sporadically throughout the catacombs. So today's offerings, I have four. We have the swimsuit number one test sheet, Lorenzo Sparlonga, nice edition, but it actually is naughty. <laughs> this is what has a slight typo on it. So I only have one of these. These items are sold as is, guys. Uh, these are the test sheets that the printer um, prints out. Brian goes through, make sure everything is correct, make sure all the information on the inside cover or on the outside cover, make sure the art looks right, make sure the coloring is right. This is a test sheet. They are sold as is. I have four today. This is one, and I'm about to show you a couple more. So these are the catacombs. Welcome to the catacombs on CBSN. This is the Coffin Coffin Com Shopping Network. Woo, that coffee better kick in soon. Next up, we have the actual nice edition of the swimsuit number one, Lorenzo Sprelong. This is beautiful, guys. Stunning. These will come with the COA since Brian has signed off on these. And I will be putting up more of this stuff, like I say, sporadically uh, throughout the catacombs, but this is a test sheet. You get the front cover and the inside cover. It's also got some fun little artwork from, uh, I believe, Richard Ortiz and Dan Mendoza right there. So, test sheets, test sheets, test sheets. I only have one of each. Once they are gone, they are gone. Not only that, if you got one of these swimsuit editions, I think it would look very nicely framed in your living room with the book below it. You got your signature or maybe even above it. Boom. That would be a really nice thing to display in your collection room, I think. But then again, I, I like setting up collection rooms. They're a lot of fun. So this is the Sora Song. This is the nice edition. Very beautiful, stunning. This is a cover test sheet. Really, Miguel? It's too early for this now. <laughs> All right. See, I got to do the hook on phonics. Some names I'm bad with. I feel bad. Hooligan on phonics. There you go. That would be a great t-shirt. Hooligan on phonics. Uh, next up, we have the Swinsuit Sora Song Naughty Edition. Or who knows if Facebook will get upset. Let's just call it, um, I'm going to call it Naughty anyways. You guys they get upset, oh well. But this is a test sheet, inside cover, front and back covers. Check it out. I only have one of each of these. That is it. Once they are done, that's it. I can unfortunately only ship them in tubes. Um, they're just so big and flat. They definitely don't fit in the pizza boxes. So these are sold in tubes only. Uh, if I could do it differently, I sure will. And if we can figure something out to ship them flat i will definitely do that but these are as is right now the safest the best way to ship them is through a tube it just takes way too much work and i think we're out of boxes that size that could fit these in so just for food for thought a couple other things i have start seeing me peppering these in and out throughout the catacombs um never too late okay Tyler, yes, this is some really beautiful stuff. You have a great eye. All right, next up we have Lady Death Icon. This is a Virgin Art Edition. It is a number three. It is a 9.8 signature series signed by Brian Polito and Mike DeBalfo. And one of these, this is it. There's the number three right in there. CGC signature series. Boom, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You'll be starting to see more of these uh, type of graded books sporadically popping out throughout the month of December. Yeah, I figured, hey, it's close to the silly season. And I figure we're all grateful for you guys for a really good year. It's been a weird year, but, you know, because of you guys, um, it's just been a, a really great year, I think, uh, work-wise. Um, it, it's... I've met so many of you since I've changed my position from working in the warehouse to now um, doing these video presentations um, and uh, doing the eBay store and whatnot. And 
you know, helping find some beautiful stuff like this for y'all. So um, it's it's been fun. So I'm going to start putting out some graded books for you guys. A few at a time here and there. Everything in the catacombs will stay around for about five days, guys. After five days, if it's still there, it's going to disappear. So five days to him and Han decide whether or not you want to add this Lady Death Icon. This is the BP Virgin Art Edition. Brian Polito. Boom. I got another one. This is a 9.8 and it too is signed by Brian and Mike DeBalfo. Get them while they are in stock. Don't move. I'm going to enjoy another cup of coffee. Oh, that's good juju and I needed it bad. Really bad. All right. Next up. I've got fun, beautiful things for you people, cause I love ya! Okay, next up we have Lady Death Revelations. This is a metallic jewel and it is a number three. Low number three. This thing is really beautiful. Schwatzky crystals. Only 66 of this was made. This is number three, number three, number three. Oh, I see here's someone uh, dropped a message. What do we got here? You know what? And that's why I, in my 26 years of selling comics, Jay, is why one of the people I wanted to work with in the industry was Brian. Because I really liked his approach with the customers and the fans. Um, I really think we are... Um, we are outside of the box. I think of the box, you know, everyone keeps, you know, everyone at arms like, we kind of invite you into what we do here at HQ. Uh, we invite you into, you know, our warehouse. We invite you in so you can see what we're doing every day. It's no shenanigans. It's all straight from our heart. And I'm glad that we have that wall taken down because I like that we interact with our customers the way you do. We have a really deep connection and I think it's very inviting for new fans and new readers because they see it's like, wow, these guys are interacting with their fans. They're messaging them. They're doing shout outs on videos and stuff like that. You know, I think that's what makes us extremely unique and I think one of a kind in the comic industry. So I'm um, glad you noticed that, Jay. Oh, well, thank you for joining, Tyler. Um, Please introduce yourself to the group. Everyone in this group is great. Um, I also do another show, Tyler, on Wednesdays at noon. Uh, that's Wednesdays at noon. Sworn Nation is the Facebook page you need to be on. So go ahead and um, sign up to join the Sworn Nation. I think it's a good group that uh, you're really going to enjoy. And it's all fans. You'll see myself and um, others who work here pop up and you know talk to folks and interact with it. But yeah. Tyler, welcome. I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, go to the shop. I have links, Tyler. Just go ahead and click on the links. That'll take you right to the Coffin Comic Shop. And then the selections you will find are under Catacombs. Click on the Catacombs and they'll show you all the stuff I'm showing off right now. After five days, they will disappear. Um, there will be more items added on Wednesday. But the items I put on the catacombs tend to go very quickly because a lot of them are onesies or twosies. Some of them are very exclusive and very rare. So, you know, and I also put in some Nick and Dent, some classic stuff. So I mix it up a lot on there. So definitely um, click on the catacombs, which should be on the link here. Click on it, do some shopping, check it out. If you have any questions, message us at inquiries at coffincomics.com. We're always there for you. Um, Mel's been doing an amazing job helping you all out on customer service. Um, I jump on from time to time and back up Mel uh, when she is uh, gone home for the afternoon. So please, we are all about helping you guys and getting you guys hooked up with what you need. On to the show. Next up, I have, for all you Scott Lewis fans, Scott Lewis fans, I have something for you. This is a classic, Lady Death. Secrets, number one. This is a Midnight Lettered Edition. This is an old school coffin comics. Midnight Lettered Edition C. Scott Lewis fans, I got your number right here. And I got your letter, and it is the letter C. C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. 
Yeah, Jay, Mel does an amazing job. Moonshine Mel. When she's in the house, you know things will get done right. So check it out, guys. This is on the catacombs. Click on the link to do your shopping to check out these beautiful treasures I have dug up just for you. Next up, I got another number three. Number three is in the house. Number three is in the house. We have the Lady Death. Nice addition. Um, this is a number three. Um, Wells is the artist. Check it out. Number three, nice. I believe I had like the naughty version um, not that long ago and that sold out. So this is the nice right there from the very amazing artist who did the uh, cherry pop. Another number three, got a number three in the house. Booyah, booyah, Lady Death Echo Strone Edition just for you. Bam! You will find these on the catacombs. Click on the link, find the catacombs, do your shopping. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, let's go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, let's go. Check it out. All right. Now we're going to go into some fun classic stuff. Uh, I think this is the last copy. I haven't been able to find any more of these. Um, I might have to do some more digging, but this is Lady Death Gallery. This is a crimson turnaround front by... The very talented J. Scott Campbell. This is number 54 out of 500. I, I might have maybe a set I had from the vault that I put on eBay, but I think that set has gone. So here it is. To my knowledge, this is my last copy I have been able to find so far, both in the uh, warehouse and going through my adventures in the catacombs. So. Decided, with all the weird eBay shenanigans that they do, and I find it very weird, but anyways, it inspired me to bring some stuff that I think need to be here on the Coffin Comics shop. It is Friday the 13th, Bloodbath number two. This is the premium, or premium foil? Platinum foil. Platinum foil. And they come with a COA. It was 1400, uh, 1450 editions printed. I have these now. These are available. I think I have like five, six copies available right now on the catacombs. Scoop it up, scoop it up, scoop it up, scoop up. This is written by Brian Polito. Friday the 13th, Bloodbath Dose. All right. Got a quick swig of water. While we're on the subject of slashers, I really was excited when they started doing um, the horror theme. Like, growing up in the 80s, if you were a Splatter fan, if you were really into horror and gore and stuff like that, you had Fangoria, you had Gore Zone, you had all these great magazines to get you caught up on your horror film needs. Um, and I remember thinking they're never going to do Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy comics. No, they're never going to do that. Well, some publishers actually started doing them. And when I heard Brian was going to be writing some of them, I was ecstatic. And I am happy to have the last few copies in-house we have here at the Catacombs. This is Jason X number one. I was very happy. Um when I heard Brian was writing these. Let's see. Oh, a Sworn Nation, Tyler. Great bunch of fans. And, you know, I got to say, I think we have the best fans in the industry. Um, they are really good people. They are a great community to be a part of, and they will welcome you with open arms, Tyler. Please join up. Sworn Nation. Let me know when it's done, man. Can't wait to see you there. All right, another classic slasher. This is the other cover I have for Jason X. This is the gore cover. This is all the Jason X special number one. Um, before anyone asks, um, dude, I'd love to get my hands on some of those. Hey, anytime, Tyler, we're here for you. All you got to do is ask. Um, 
I totally agree with you. I'd love to find some of the Halloweens Brian did. I would love to find some of the Halloween issues. So far, I haven't found any. I've got my fingers crossed that if I do find any, I have those cool black and white, or not the black and white, the glow-in-the-dark covers, uh, the pumpkin knife cover. I mean, dude, I'd love to have those just so I could put it on the catacombs and just watch the, the frenzy go because I haven't seen those in a while. Um, even in retail side, before I came to Coffin, I was it would be ecstatic as heck if someone brought in like the Halloween costumes or even the Child's Play stuff uh, and the Chucky stuff that Brian uh, worked on too. People don't give those up. It is really hard for those things to come my way in the wild. So um, I hope I can find some because I'd love to put those on the show. So cross your fingers. Maybe I'll get lucky looking around for stuff. Again, this is the Jason X Special Issue 1. This is the Gore Cover. What do we got here? Oh. Gore, gore, gore. What's it all for? Your entertainment. Cheers. Ooh, I had some really good coffee. All right. Boom, boom. All right. This one, I only have two copies. And then that is totally it. Just the two. This is uh, Jason X Special Numero Uno. They only did 1,200 of these. And this is the headless cover. Now, things on the catacombs go real quick. Real quick. So um, don't hesitate. Don't him and haw. These are really good priced items. Highly recommend you check it out. Also, my gosh. Again, I can't say enough. You guys really... Um, humbled us with the Hell Witch Kickstarter. Um, she has really taken off, and it's all because of you guys, so thank you very much. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to more adventures uh, with Hell Witch and all our other characters merging, converging, and dominating of what soon will be the Coffinverse. So a couple things. For those who have not signed up for the VIP letter, please do so. I highly recommend you guys sign up. It gives you all the up-to-date information of the things, all things Coffin Comics, what we're doing, what we're up to, what you can expect. Sign up. One of the things I'd like to announce, and I'm sure some of you have already seen this uh, on the uh, <clears throat> Facebooks, um, we have a shipping update. New ship date will be Wednesday, December 7th for the coffin-shaped books. Um, I'll just read what uh, Brian put up. Candidly printing the coffin-shaped editions to the same exacting standards as our other books has been a challenge and has required several revisions. However, we remain committed to the quality you expect from coffin and you will see it reflected in the books when you receive them. Thank you for your patience and understanding we apologize for any inconvenience this has caused. So, we just want to make sure the books we put out there for you guys are the best quality, the best looking books you expect from us. We're just not going to throw them out to throw them out. We're going to make sure they look good. We're, we work hard for that. We do a lot of QCing around here. So, definitely, um, you'll see those books. They will be released. Uh, we're expecting uh, the week of December 7th it's just so we can make sure the books are good quality. We don't, we're doing something unique. Um, the design of the books is amazing. But of course, trying to uh, reinvent the wheel, as they say, um, does have its um, bumps. So we just hit a little bump, but, you know, we're going to smooth over that bump. It'll be nice, smooth as butter. And who the heck keeps messaging me this late in the day? Oh. Okay, I have no idea what that's about. So, moving forward. So, definitely, this is the type of stuff you'll see on the VIP's newsletter, like shipping updates, uh, product updates, which I got another one for you guys coming up. I've seen a couple people asking about these. So, let's go ahead and give you guys the latest information when I can find it. Oh, here we go. The Lady Death Seductress Statue shipping update. Okay, shipping early January 2021. That's around the corner. It's around the corner. It's like me going around the corner of the bar. 
to get drinks. Literally, we're that close. We're that close to this beautiful, beautiful Lady Dust Seductress statue getting into your hands for everyone who pre-ordered it. Check it. This is the type of stuff that keeps you up to date on the VIP's newsletter. I know some of you uh, are like, oh God, he's bringing up the newsletter, but it's important. I think you guys should know, you know, what's going on. And this is probably the best newsletter I've seen from a publisher because we go all out to get the information into your hands. So you're in the know. And now you know. And as they say, no one's have to battle. Mm. Next up, Blackest Black Friday sale launches Thursday. 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here we go. There is going to be a Coffin Comics Vault daily. Check it, check it, check it. New stuff drop each day. Bing, bang, boom. And I did some amazing digging for you guys. I did some lots of soul searching for some of these books. So I hope you really like the selection. Again, a lot of these are from the vault. So they're APs, BPs, mock-ups. Graded books will be in there too. So a little bit of everything you expect from us. So really great quality. Most of the stock, of course, is onesies. There's only one. So check it out. The vault will be open. Very cool. Here's some other stuff. There's going to be low serial number copies. Artist proofs. Rare Easter egg items hand selected by Brian Polito. That guy is like Santa Claus. 140 rare items will be unleashed throughout the duration of the weekend. So check, check, check. Every day we're gonna be dropping something new. But once they go, dust in the wind, my friends. Dust in the wind. All right. But there's some other stuff we're gonna be offering outside from the vault items. And I'm gonna take the camera here and I'm gonna show you guys off some of these beautiful books we've got for you coming up. And I mean beautiful. Let's decapitate my camera. Bye, War Room. Let's do a nice pan of the selection of the stuff you'll find at the catacombs. Not only that, you just don't need to shop the catacombs. Shop the entire Coffin Comics shop. Where else are you going to get cowbells? That's right, right there. And that wonderful coffee mug that I've been drinking out of. Oh, yum coffee. All right. Let's show you some of this great stuff that's coming up Black Friday. Some really amazing vault boxes I dug out for you guys. Ooh. Jay, be safe, okay? Please be safe. It's good to see you. Bob, thank you very much for joining us. It's always good to see you. All right, let's start things off. We have Lady Death, sworn number one. This is the luxury edition. Cover art by Don McTagg. 24 pages, premium card stock. This edition will be limited to approximately, approximately to the numbers of orders received on Monday, November 30th at 5 p.m. Editions will be serial numbered. So, the serial numbers are determined on how many people are going to want to scoop these up, and I know it's going to be a lot of you. So, don't him and haw, but there's more, Dawn. This next one is absolutely stunning. This is the Lady Death. Sworn number one, this is the Luxury Jeweled Edition. That's right, this is a Jeweled Edition, folks. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, the price on this will be 45 After savings, it'll cost you $36. On this one, price is 25 Price after your savings will be 20 bucks. Black Friday, everyone. But wait, that's not all. We even have... Let me flip my pages. Tarnations. And not only that, behind it are prints. So um, a lot of you print folks, well, you like these covers? We got prints to go with it. Beautiful pieces. Come out on your wall and to add to your collection. Look at these. These are beautiful. All right, next up we have the Luxury Naughty Hollow Foil. This will be a hollow foil cover. This is the mock-up. This is gonna be a real stunning piece. Again, Don Latigue is the artist. And we do have a 11 by 17 print edition. Edward, hello, thank you for joining us. Um, so everyone who knows 
big fan, Gary Compton. He's probably got the biggest selection of um, 11 by 17 prints of all things uh, Lady Death and Coffin Comics. Um, so shout out to him. I'm sure he's really excited to see these prints. And of course, we will be offering a metal edition. This is the Luxury Metallic Edition. Again, Don McTeague. Price is $100. After savings, you're looking at 80 bucks. Again, full color, 24 page. This is a metallic cover. It is a metal front cover, folks. Editions will be limited approximately to the number of orders received by Monday, November 30th. My gosh, isn't it nice to know that 2020 is over? I know I'm relieved. All right, next up, coming along with our blackest of the Black Fridays, we have the amazing and the beautiful, and my notes are falling on the floor, this is Lady Death, killer number one, Yuletide. Sor Sung and Kate Colors. That is beautiful piece, Sora. Wow. Really, really nice. Beautiful art. Hey, Haley, welcome to the show. It's always good to see you, and good morning to you. How's, uh, how's the future looking so far? Next up, we have Lady Death Killer number one. This is a Scarlet Yuletide. Boom. Again, Sora Song knocking it out of the park. Just beautiful. Beautiful art, guys. And again, we do have 11 by 17 print of both of these editions. Hi, Eric. How are you today? Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please give a shout out. And of course, what would a promo be without an awesome homage cover? Very awesome indeed. We are doing Lady Death Retribution. This is the Dazzle edition by Stephen Butler and Dan Feldmeyer. Retail will be $25 after savings, 20 bucks. This is the homage to Dazzler number one. Um, the superhero, <laughs> uh, disco superhero. Really? A Christmas light cover. Wow. So anyone doesn't know, these are, as Brian says, there's like subtle hints to all the different characters he's been showing on covers. So I'm interested to know. Oh, are these ones going to be appearing in future episodes? I don't know. Um, but, you know, Brian likes to reveal his secrets at his own time. So it's one of the fun things working here. You never know what he's going to do next. Ever. But that's not it. We also have, along with the prints and the books, this is a three-card metal set. There is only going to be 99 of these uh, sets made. That's it. 99. I'll say that again. There's only going to be 99 sets of these three metal cards. It's a three-card metal set. This will go available on Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific uh, Mountain Standard. I forgot. We've changed. And then uh, Eastern Standard Time, which will be 9 p.m. So check it out, guys. All this stuff will go live on Thursday. Of course, we've got the prints, the metallic cards, which those may go quick. I know uh, 99 is a pretty low number when it comes to... Uh, Tile cards. I know you, normally we do about 199. I also got an update for y'all on the sacrilegious Kickstarter. Um, so we closed the Hellwitch sacrilegious Kickstarter only 10 days ago, and already there are more stretch gold things hiring. The Hellwitch calendars are coming in. Hellwitch pens will be arriving. And stay tuned for more. I'm curious. I'm curious. More updates. So that's what we're going to be offering um, for Black Friday or Blackest of the Black Friday. There will be a vault. There is exclusives. And not only that, it's the, it's the silly season. We decided to do some decorating around here, kind of make it very festive like we always do here. Um, so real quick, here's some um, holiday ideas. We have, of course, lots of beautiful, fun, amazing 11 by 17 prints. 
I think this Jim Ballant one's probably my favorite holiday print we've done. I just love the skeleton uh, Rudolph. So these are some of the items you can pick up right now that are available by clicking on the link for the Coffin Comic Shop. Also, if you are uh, know someone who's into pinup art, we do have our third art book we offer. This is a hardcover. This is Lady Death More Naughty. If you're interested in picking this up for the holidays for that special someone in your life, your Lady Death fan, Coffin Comics fan, or somebody who just loves beautiful pinup art, well, may I suggest the Lady Death More Naughty. Or, for all you really big collectors out there who want just hundreds and hundreds of beautiful images all at your fingertips. And this will look beautiful on any coffee table. This is the Lady Death Masterpieces, The Art of Lady Death. This is a nice, beautiful hardcover edition. Slipcase. Book slides right in. Really beautiful art from many of the artists that have contributed to Coffin Comics. There's even some old classic chaos stuff in here too. Check this out, guys. It's a beautiful book. Hundreds of images. Some stuff that I've never seen or run across. But definitely check it out. Click on the link. This is the Lady Death Masterpieces, Art of Lady Death, Volume 1. And there's also the Lady Death Collection. These are 10, the first 10 volumes of Lady Death. And the beginnings of the coffin verse are all right here. So you want to get caught up with the new adventures of Lady Death? That's it in the Lady Death Collection. There is 10 volumes in there, but you're also going to get this fun little pack we put together and it's going to have mini prints. It's going to have stickers, bigger stickers. We're going to have buttons, uh, small stickers, trading cards, whole bunch of stuff, bookmarks. All of this is included in this box set and you get 10 volumes of Lady Death. The first 10 volumes of Lady Death and her adventures in Coffin Comics. Also, say, hey, you know, I really like that, but I like, I like to challenge people. Well, may I recommend the Lady Death Commemorative Challenge Coin set? It's a really lovely set. We are down to uh, limited stock, so these may sell out. Um, yeah, only 333 sets were made, so there's not many of these left. But look at those beautiful... Gold, silver, and copper. Um, they're going to be dropping at specific times, Miguel. Uh, in the VIP newsletter, they do have the um, times and everything, the dates. Let me get that on there. Very nice. So if you don't want to get a three-pack, we also have the classic 25th anniversary Lady Death Challenge coin. Back on the base, so it looks nice and neat. Some other things we have on there in our merch section of the store, we have shot glasses. It's a four shot glass set. The coffee mugs, which you guys know I enjoy my dinner, my uh, my dinner with. Oh my goodness, my coffee with, and the pint glasses. Really cool stuff. Good quality made pint shot glasses and coffee mugs. We also have stadium cups as well if they're still available. So much great stuff we are offering for you guys. I am so happy to see uh, 2020 from behind. Eric Hart, how the heck are you? Look at that. This is all Mel doing. She did an amazing job setting up HQ. So round of applause to Moonshine Mel for really setting up and making HQ very festive. 